Yeah, police say Peter Knievel has admitted to assaulting other children in the past. Now they're working fast to find out just how many they are, whether or not they went to this church, or they're in the Waukesha School District where he was a bus driver. 72-year-old Peter Kniebel is charged with inappropriately touching a young girl inside his office at Waukesha's Fox River Christian Church. According to the complaint, Kniebel told the girl she could sit on his lap and play his computer. While she was on his lap, police say Kniebel moved his hands from her stomach up over her chest. After about 30 seconds, the girl ran out of his office and told an adult who reported it to the head pastor. When confronted last week, Kniebel initially denied the assault, but later told investigators, quote, I did what we talked about, and I knew I touched her there. Our main concern with this is being that uh, his uh, position within the community uh, as a school bus driver, uh, as well as a pastor as, at a community church, is that uh, there most likely are other uh, incidents that occurred that we're not aware of. Kniebel was an associate pastor with the church for five years, mostly making hospital rounds and planning funerals. Executive pastor Mark Roberts says Kniebel was not assigned to deal with children. I was sickened by what I'd heard, and my responsibility is then to report to the authorities, and that's what we did. Kniebel was also a full time bus driver with First Student, a bus company that operates within the Waukesha School District. After six years, he apparently left the job on his own accord last month. The superintendent tells 12 News, quote, we have no information that would tie this alleged incident to any of our students. No one answered the door when we knocked at Kniebel's Waukesha home. There was a sign on the door, however, that says, baby sleeping, please don't ring doorbell. Now, Kniebel has been suspended from the church. Fox River is a mega church with more than 2,600 people attending services here every week. We're live in Waukesha tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.